This powerful word will make you happier instantly. Want to know what it is? So it feels good to feel good, doesn't it? Is that a thought that we can all agree on? We all like to feel good. We love those moments that feel good and the experiences and it gets even better when you can call it a feel good day. So then why do we do anything but feel good if it feels so good? Because guys, we have this pesky Google brain and it goes out searching to prove that you are right all the time. Now picture this. You're driving down the highway and you're loving the nice weather. The sun is streaming through the windows and there's a few cute fluffy clouds in the sky. You're noticing the trees going by and the breathtaking landscape. landscape. But what you didn't see was those bear in the trees. And it's not far from the road, but you didn't see it. But does that mean it's not there? Nope. It was there. In fact, it's there just as much as the trees are and your lack of awareness of the bear does not make it cease to exist. And the same is true for our negative beliefs. The scenery is like your life. It's on idle pilot. And the bear and other non-detected wildlife hiding in those trees are our belief systems. And they're there regardless of if we can spot them or not. They're continuously running in the background of our mind. The same way like apps are running in the background of your phone. You still get notifications when there's you know something to be notified of, but you don't have to be have that app open, you know, unless you've changed your settings, of course. But you don't have to have the app open to receive these notifications. Now, this is exactly what our life is like. We're busy running around, making an income, and looking after everyone who we care about, and then still trying to squeeze in a few minutes for ourselves. And the whole time, this belief system is operating in the background with our, our, without our attention to it. And that's until we receive a notification, or what we call a wake-up moment, and it snaps us out of our routine. And it enlightens you to programming that was installed decades ago probably when you were a child from the age of zero to seven. Programming that has been active so long that it feels like a part of you, like your identity. And if you truly believe that you can do anything and you're unstoppable, then the reality is that you're probably experiencing that. However, if you make a new goal or say a new year's resolution and the first thought you have is something that's doubt activating and you know it's like a tiny, almost hard to detect thought of I don't think that that can happen, or even something as simple as, yeah, right, and it starts creeping in, know that's you saying to yourself, I don't think I'm worthy of that. Yes, it comes down to that feeling of deserving and worthiness of whatever it is that you're desiring or whatever goal that you have. When you don't feel worthy and this feeling is activated or your doubt response is turned on, it's like running straight into that bear and having it like 10 feet in front of you without a car in between you and the bear. So it's now in your awareness. You can see it's there and it's making a little noise. It's got your attention. So. What do you do once it's activated? This is what I call my power pivot. And I teach it in my course. It instantly gets you back to feeling good because that's what we all want, right? It's to feel good all the time. So now I've painted this picture for you. Let's get into the good stuff. Okay, so you run into this bear of doubt and no matter what you do, it's not letting you pass. It's, there's no get out of jail free card in that moment. You can one, run and let that belief win and keep you hostage, which means that you're gonna have many more opportunities to meet up with it again until you deal with it. Or two, you can take charge of the situation because it's your life after all and no one is going to ever do this for you. So how do we do this? Step one, we need to witness it. Notice it. Notice how it makes you feel. Is it fear, anger, frustration, depressed, anxious? Do you feel cheated? 
And then step two, make a declaration or a claim. It's like putting that flag down. Declare this is my life and I'm making it what I want. I'm reprogramming some of this very outdated software. Number three, Forgive yourself for believing that you're unworthy or undeserving or doubting your abilities for so long. Is it possible that you could forgive yourself for believing that you're unworthy? All you have to do is say it. Just say, I forgive myself for believing that I am unworthy or undeserving. Did you see how fast you can change this? I'm telling you, it's almost instantaneously. And step four, is what would be the next best feeling thought. What other thought can I have that will be slightly better and still feels true for me? There is a ton of different ways that this could happen. I'm going to give you an example of what I would say to myself if I'm worthy was tripping me up on a way to my goal or my resolution or my desired outcome. You could say something like, I don't fully believe I'm worthy yet, but I'm doing the work. I'm feeling better every day. And the more I feel better, the more worthy I feel. And the more worthy I feel, the happier I feel. And I know that every day when I'm feeling good, I'm also feeling more worthy. It's so good to feel good. And when I feel good, I become a dream magnet. And even if I'm not feeling 100% worthy yet, there will be moments of clarity when I do feel worthy. There will be moments of worthiness. And that's when I'll be attracting more proof of my worthiness. And until I see fully that I'm worthy, I'm going to continue to focus on feeling good just because it feels so freaking good to feel good. You see how my first statement, I acknowledge that I didn't feel worthy yet. And then I pivoted with the word, but. This is one of the most powerful words in the English language and it completely nullifies and redirects the whole meaning of the sentence. I said, I don't fully believe I'm worthy yet, but I've been doing the work, which says to my brain, it's okay, I'm safe with my thinking. And safety is huge when we're trying to create change, guys. We can't create change when we're in stress mode or our primal brain is overriding our thinking. Every alarm bell is going off. And I made another video about this that I'll post the link below. So unpacking the first statement, I said, I don't fully believe I'm worthy yet, which is a true feeling statement. It's a safe feeling statement. I use the word fully because it says I have some proof, but I'm not com completely convinced yet. And then we use the word, but that pivot power word. And I followed it with, I've been doing the work, which tells my Google brain, it's okay, you can stop trying to prove that I'm not worthy. Now go fetch me some proof already that I have been doing the work, which indirectly convinces myself that I will be feeling worthy soon because, well, I've been doing the work. And then I said some quick thinking, true feeling statements that would up level me in that moment from feeling overwhelmed with doubt to a place of possibility. So what we're trying to do is climb up the emotional scale here a couple of rungs. And if you don't know what the emotional scale is, I'll make another video next week about what it is and how you can put it to use. So make sure that you're getting the notifications so that you don't miss out on that one. So I followed up my initial acknowledging safe, true sentence with that pivot power word and then a positivity rant, which is fun. So I said, I'm feeling better every day and the more I feel better, then the more worthy I feel and the more worthy I feel, the happier I feel. And I know that every day when I'm feeling good, I'm also feeling more worthy. It's good to feel good. And when I feel good, I become a dream magnet. And even if I'm not feeling 100% worthy yet, there will be moments of clarity when I do feel worthy. There will be moments of worthiness. And that's when I will be attracting more proof of my worthiness. Until I can see I'm fully worthy, I will continue to focus on feeling good just because it feels good to feel good. I'm not harping on the goal or the lack of it being in my life. I'm not listing all the reasons that I deserve it or that I need it or how it will make things better. Instead, I went general. I pulled it back to the feeling good. 
because at the end of the day, that is why I set my goal or I had my desire in the first place. It really is about feeling good. So after this rant, my Google brain went out searching for good feeling things. So the next time that you feel yourself sliding off the tracks emotionally or running smack into that doubt bear, try this powerful method with the power pivot word and see if you can't climb a couple rungs off that emotional scale to a better feeling place. So I would love to see how this has impacted your life. Please share it in the comment section below what belief system you discovered was running in the background of your mind and what power pivot statement you used after the word, but you never know who else might benefit from your sharing. And next time, until next time, remember that I'm here for you and you are the magnificent creator of your life.